Hey everyone, how's it going? BZM here. Welcome to Horror Clip. Short horror story. Oh, select a story. We got three of toilet, garden, and karma. Oh, mm, do garden first. Please don't put your name. Okay. Yeah, my name is Bell. Stupid. Why in your old home, Jeff? You already have a new home that is closer to mine. I still have something left behind in my old house. Maybe you can help me move them after dinner. Oh, okay. At least you have some food for me. <laughs> yeah. Haha, uh -huh, okay, come in. Come on. Hell, is he dressed up like a bear? <laughs> Without suspicion, I went with him. <laughs> a bear. Oh. Your game is beautiful, Jeff. Oh, gee, wow, yes, I love it. Yeah, come on, stupid. <laughs> come in, stupid. Through Jeff's garden, I saw a lot of unique garden decorations. Some like human head, flower hangers that resemble human hands, spooky and look like real food. <laughs> what the hell kind of place is? I don't understand Jeff's taste. I wouldn't understand his taste either, my dude. But he's detailed in choosing garden decorations like that, I think. Oh, uh, for sure. <clears throat> Back to the seriousness. We went straight to the dining room. Yep, this is the dining room, stupid. Sorry if this place is a bit dirty. I'm going to the kitchen to cook. <laughs> what's he gonna... What's on the menu? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll wait, man. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. While I was waiting for him to cook, I looked around the unique classic interior in this room. <laughs> his taste is very old for his age. Wait, what's this? <laughs> Pain of human with the rabbit head? This painting is quite contrasted with interior design like this. Oh man. Oh man, that's beautiful. And creepy. <laughs> but never mind, I'm just hungry. Then my eyes see some unique statue in the corner of the dining room. Hmm, a woman wax statue. Oh, that's my wife's wax statue. She died four years ago. I love her very much and immortalized her into it one by one wax statue. Her, is her real body in there? Oh boy. It took a long time to finish it. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. Yeah, no problem, stupid. I hope that you're not the next one, stupid. <laughs> what are you going to put me in there? <laughs> it's so creepy, but I think it's just a joke. Yep, the food is ready. Sorry, I make you kept waiting. No problem, Jeff. It looks delicious. Okay, just eat it. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Jeff took some tool and put them in the box and locked the door. What? While eating my food, I looked toward the window. There are so many scary pot decorations outside. Some are like human organs. <laughs> what the hell? Are you done? Do you feel sleepy, stupid? Oh man, did you put something in my food? A little bit. But we'll tidy up some of your stuff tonight, right? Somehow I suddenly feel very tired and sleepy. Ah, oh, never mind. You just have to close your eyes and sleep, stupid. Short story, a week before the incident occurred, I heard the news that there were murders who roamed the city, killing him with asking for help to move his stuff and invite someone to dinner. And the day before Jeff invited me to dinner, I helped him move his stuff from the freight truck to his new home. He just moved. 
And the night after I helped him, he invited me to dinner at his old home. I had no suspicion that Jeff was a murderer, and I was his target. Ooh. Yeah, you know, the, the skulls and everything as I was walking into the place should have gave me the, um, <laughs> should have gave me an indication he was going to kill me. Thanks for playing the story, stupid. Yeah, no problem, um, narrator. Sure, let's do, um, sure, let's do what you call it. Let's do, um, flex, okay, let's do toilet. And put your name. I already put my, can't you keep it the, from the first time? It's stupid again, okay? I'm stupid for, here, fine. Hi, stupid, this is my story. Tonight is my schedule to guard. It's time to check the hallway, corridor, and every room in this building to make sure everything is okay. Knocky, knocky, knocky. There's no, are you knocking on the doors of the bathroom stalls? What the hell are you doing? Okay. Huh? I heard something. I tried to find where the sound came from. The sound came from the hallway that goes to the toilet. Oh man, don't go down there. That's creepy and dark and weird. Let's check what the. I hope it's just a mouse trapped in the trash can. Nothing? Then what was that noise? Maybe it's just my hallucination, I thought. Okay, let's get out of the scary place. Oh no, it's locked. Why? Oh no, no, damn, what the hell? I'm knocking on the walls? Ooh, who's there? My hand began to tremble after I heard the sound of a knock from the toilet door. Who's there? There was no answer. I tried to close the door and open it. Open step closer. Huh? What is that? Blood? It must just be a dream. It's gone. <laughs> Hi. That's no mouse. Thanks for playing the story, stupid. Poi Kong is the name of the body wrapped in a shroud. The designation comes from the Japanese language? Okay. Use of the shroud is usually done after the body is washed and the seven main holes of the body. Two eyes, two nostrils, two ear holes, and but, but, but booty are covered with cotton. What the hell? <laughs> the Poi Kong is often featured as a ghost in, 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 in... Okay, I don't want to know about those urban legends. No, 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 no. No depiction of a Poi Kong of Flat face and having hollow or cotton covered eye holes with a pale white face. What the hell? <clears throat> Those who believe in the existence of this ghost think that Pukong is a form of protest from him who died who had forgotten to untie his shroud before his grave was closed. Oh no, don't forget to do that. Want to play another story? Sure, let's do the last one. My name is still stupid, you know. I'm here, Karma. It's been a long time since I visited. I miss you. Your child is grown now. According to my promise at that time, I will take care of him like my own child, and my wife loves him very much. Eight years ago. Oh. I really love my human. He is very kind. The hell? Okay, what is that? Oh, hi. I'm Molly. Nice to meet you. By the way, what's your name? It's the same one it's been for the last two stories. It's Stupid. My name is Stupid. Nice to meet you too, Molly. Okay, let's tell me your story. Okay, sit down and listen. <clears throat> I'm all ears. I'm a little stray cat who always plays in the trash can and always in this residential area and always waiting for my mom to come home with food. I was born in a small cardboard box. Hey, me too. I mean, oh, I am not alone. I'm also with my two brothers. We will stay here for a while and waiting mom to come home with food. Until pedestrian saw us and took, oh no, my two brothers. I'm so sad. Now I'm alone here, without my bro- The days passed. Only me and my mother were still here. I'm not like my brothers. They are born normal. Well, I have a deficit in my hind legs, but I can still fill it. Oh, sorry, defect. Deficit. I have a deficit in my head. Right. Now it's just me and my mom. I miss my bro- Why are we- Mom- Why is mom- No, oh, mom's not home yet? <coughs> I always take a moment bring me food. I'm hungry. At that time I was getting worried about mom. I tried to dare myself to go out and look around. 
I'm scared. With limitation that I have, I dare myself to look for my mom. I went to the place where mom used to find food. My mom is not there. My legs are because I dragged my feet to this place. I feel tired, even though the distance is not too far from my house. Where should I go? I'm trying to go to a place I've never been before. Along the way, sometimes I see very small alley that I passed, wishing my mother was there. <coughs> I saw from the distance there were some teenagers who were playing. They seemed to be playing with something, and I heard a sound of pain, whining, so I tried to get closer. No! That's my mother. They tortured my mother. How cruel they are. Oh no. They saw me and caught me. I can't do anything. They intend to torture me too? No, please. Stop. Ah, and he come to save me. <laughs> damn, yep, the face of the teenager hurt, hurt my mother. Oh, damn, she lives an eye. Next time, find the same opponent like you, kid. If I pick on somebody your own size. Hey, come with me. You hungry, right? <clears throat> He took me, gave me some food, a place to live, and also took care of me like his own son. Okay, now it's time to clean your wound. Thank you, human. After this, I'll prepare dinner for you. He is very kind. He also gave me a name. Alright, you are cleaner than before. I'll call you Molly. Did you like it? Meow. Whoa, I was surprised and delighted when he called me Molly. I assume that means yes. I'm very happy to be saved by him. But my mom, I promise to take care of your son like I take care of my son. If I have time, I'll come back to see you. Yep, his name is Jeff. Thank you for saving my life. I'm so happy. Hey, stupid. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you like it. If you don't like animals, don't ever torture them for personal gratification. They are just like everyone else wants to live and play like humans. If you have pets, love them and they will love you too. God knows the best way to love his creatures will also love others. God bless you. Psst. You don't want to meet someone like Jeff, right? No. I take care of my pets, my dog. Thanks you for playing the story, stupid. Want to play another story? Well, no, they're all over, so that's gonna. <laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting. Three stories. Uh, I liked the first one best. The first one I played. Um, hope y'all liked it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon for the next video. Bye now.